traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We are going to take a look at the Treasury bonds today. This has hit the frustration index of 100%. We had an order setting there at the 78% level. It missed us by three pips and has dropped $1,000. Uh, nothing you can do about that, folks. I, you have to pick a spot to go in, and that was I shaded it by a tick or two, but it still didn't get there. So uh, that was a trade that'll still be valid for Monday. Might even get it today. Who knows? But uh, we'll be watching that one very, very close. There's triple A, B, C, D patterns coming in there at the 128.23 level. Uh, it also is the exact 78% level. I've got an announcement to make. I'm excited to tell you about something new that's been happening in my life. I was contacted yesterday by a firm out of uh, London. And they want to do an autobiography of me, and they're going to do it in a different way. They're going to do it on a podcast, and a very famous trader is going to be interviewing me for two hours. We're going to go decade by decade from the 60s, 70, 80, 90, 2000, 2010, 2020. Seven decades, folks, of uh, how I got into this business, the mistakes I made, what I learned, the people I met, the, the, you know, some of the things I regret. Not much to regret, I tell you, I really haven't. There's some, of course, but second guessing never gets anywhere. It'll probably be uh, available sometime late summer would be my guess because they're going to have to be edited and things, and I've got to find out how to get two clean shirts in case it lasts more than two hours. But uh, it is going to be a, a major thing for me, and uh, I had to go through an interview with these dudes to see if they would like to do it. They said, we want to do it, but show me what we'd be talking about. So we went through the 60s and 70s and the guy said that's enough we want to do it so it sounded pretty good you know how it turns out i don't know i'm going to donate the money to charity and uh i hope that uh you know they'll enjoy it very much of course my favorite charity is santa anita park over there in in uh pasadena that's a joke folks let's take a look here one other one uh speaking about a frustration index that i got a lot of things on first of all let's just talk about here's what we were looking at last night uh, in the uh, the S&P when it started to break, what we were looking for was to sell a 382 retracement today. And uh, we got that 382 retracement up there at 44.12. We went all the way down to uh, 43.83, dropped 30 handles. Now our stop on that is at break even. It's been as high as 43.05 or 43.06 is the last I checked. So as long as it, it gets back to break even here, uh, we are out. We don't want it. First of all, it's uh, the market will come back that far. Uh, so far, it's only come back 78% of it. But if it gets any higher to that, it's basically a break-even trade. We did the same thing in the natural gas today. Uh, we ended up making $150, even though at one time we were up $750. Folks, I can't control those things. I hope you understand that because it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. Now, let me explain to you. There's one market. Actually, so there's two markets, but the main one is the gold market, and gold and silver run hand in hand. I want to show you this chart on the silver, okay? Now, this is just a 13-minute chart over the last couple of days, but I wanted you to see – the fact that how these ABCD patterns really work on a shorter term basis. We've seen it many times, but this happens to be one of those times you see a perfect ABCD three drive to a bottom there at 2214. And believe me, folks, there's where there's where it went all the way up. It rallied 65 cents. Okay, and I the people started from the 24-7, oh, we've missed the bottom in the gold, we've missed the bottom in the silver. And I said, yes, that's possible, but you got to have patience and make your st stay with the plan. You know, that's what we got to do. You can't just get in there and just start chasing stuff. You're going to lose money. And what has happened? Silver's dropped 60 cents from the high and gold's dropped $22 from the high. 
So there's a perfect example that if you don't stick with what you're doing, you know, you're going to be a chance once in a while you change, you chase one of these things and it's going to be okay. But frankly, the number of times that happens is not going to be very often. And that's the main thing. Now, show, let me show you one that I missed. You talk about really screwing up. I've been following beans and meal and corn and wheat and everything else, uh, you know, the stock indices and, and the gold and the silver and the treasury bonds. And I forgot that my one of my all-time favorites is the euro yesterday. And look at this, folks. I missed this. This was one that I, I, I woke up this morning and I didn't know the – what happened is somebody did something with the Fed, I guess. I don't know. But look at the 78% level was right there yesterday. Now, that's the first sign that you got to look for something to the downside. All right? Now, and as I looked at this, this is, of course, done in retrospect, which you don't get to cash that at the bank very often. But look what happened to the Treasury or to the to the euro after that top was made. You're going to be able to see a very simple, a beautiful 135 pattern. And there's your 382 retracement. Okay, and we went all the way down here. And now what we want to do is we want to sell that rally back at the 382. So that was the order that we had setting in there for today. And so I'm just going to give you a little heads up of what it looked like. And I hope I am anyway. Yes, I am. So bear with me here. Stan Harley is going to be our guest at the break, folks. Always got some great stuff from the Harley stock market letter. And as you can see here, we just missed this by about 20 pips. We still might get it today. And if we do, I certainly want to uh, be short there with a stop right above the 61% retracement. Very similar to the same pattern that we saw in the E-mini S&P. So that's just you know what we're looking at uh, you know here so far today. Uh, if you have any questions, it's 877-927. 6648. Now, I wanted to bring to your attention a couple others that we've been following very, very closely. And of course, uh, we're talking about the corn market. We'll get the corn market up here. Uh, let's do soybeans first because that's the first one that's popped up. You'll be able to see that we've uh, come up and we're now we're down for the week about uh, 40 cents. We've dropped 70 cents from the high. You can see there is the, the butterfly pattern up at the top. There was a 382 retracement yesterday right on the open. Uh, today's low, uh, this has not been updated, folks, but the low was hit uh, perfectly. We rallied a little bit, and now we're below this low, so telling us that uh, there may be some rain coming across the Midwest. At least that's what we're expecting, and then that means the market would probably go uh, a little lower. I still want to do the corn here. I know I put the corn in, so let's just uh, – I don't know anything, so let's just double check to make sure that I did. Ah, shut the front door and raise the rent. What happened to my corn chart? Well, not going to worry about it. Got to move on, and we'll get on to the crude oil. So here's crude oil yesterday. Those of you that follow strong trending markets, I want you to be able to take a look at this because there's another perfect example of how the 382 can help you it, look at these 382 retracements, folks. And the last one that we got down here was a really big one to the downside. And then after that was hit, after that was hit, look what happened. We finally get a really strong rally, and we're almost back to the major 382 of the whole thing. So let's get that. Oh, shut the front door. What did I do wrong here? Hold on. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I've posted the four-hour chart of the gold. Uh, this is the one that we've been watching. You'll notice that the level that we're looking at here is 1909 in the gold. That number actually is a split between 1915, uh, which is the uh, 382 retracement, and then the 1905, which is the ABCD uh, of that big move. Now, all I'm doing here is showing you this four-hour chart because what happened last night uh, you know, it was I, you know, I was surprised that it, it looked like when it was trading in 1919 that it was a you know flat out lock that it was going to get down there, but it did not. It rallied thirty dollars all the way up to 1949, and now silver, which been up sixty cents, is now down on the day, and we're coming down lower and lower. Now, what was interesting when people started dropping me emails saying, "Gee, did we miss it? Did we miss it?" And I said, nah, "It's still too early to tell because all that high was today at 1949 was, yes, Johnny, I see you holding up the 382 plaque. Yes, that's it, folks. You know, I I've done a lot of stuff over my years, but I'll tell you one thing. If you had it, if God sat down with me and she said, "You only get to use one thing and only one thing only." I swear I would be torn between ABCD and 0.382. And I'll tell you that 0.382 is the simplest, easiest thing to do. You just put your put your order in at 0.382, put your stop above 0.618, and it's gonna win, it's gonna win a lot more than it's gonna lose because A, you're trading in a strong trending market, and B, the trend is down. And so those are good things that uh, come to those who wait. So that's why we watch it. So uh, very, very close. It's going to be really interesting to see how these markets come in next week because we've got a lot of cycle stuff coming in from uh, Bill Meridian uh, that he talked about. Remember the uh, middle of July has some uh, some very important dates coming up. We have uh, uh, Stan Harley will be coming up with his dates, will, which are always pretty good. Very uh, not pretty good, very good. And so we're going to be looking at some really great opportunities. And, and the volatility is getting, um, you know, it's actually, it's decreasing, not increasing. The, there's no one, there's no fear in the market at all. That fear index uh, so far hasn't even budged. Why would anybody be afraid 
I mean, it's the high was uh, 49 45, 49 95, and we were trading at what 44 or something. So it's it's down, but you know, just down 100 points. That's nothing in a week for the S and P. The Nasdaq's down a couple hundred because it's had some more problems to it. But that's pretty much it. The main stock in the news, from our perspective is the stock of Tesla. And we brought this to your attention because we've been waiting for the Tesla patter, pattern to uh, complete. Let's get this up here, here, and we'll be able to take a quick look at it. If you like ABCD patterns, and we do, you'll take a look at that right here. You'll see there's where it went to, exactly 78% level of the high we made back here in February. And then look at this, 61%. Both of them coming together at 276, and the high was... 276.99. It's now trading uh, $16 under that. Not a big deal. And if we close above that, this thing could be off to the races. It certainly could. Just because you have these overbought conditions does not mean these things can't go higher, folks. We've seen it over and over again. And that's why you've got to use some stop protection when you're in here. Otherwise, you know, you might as well throw the cards on the table and let them, uh, f you know, fall where they may. And that's not fun especially if you're playing with the big boys that's the one thing you don't want to uh, you don't want to get involved with okay now i want i trying to find that corn chart the corn chart looks just exactly just exactly uh, guess what billy ray found the corn chart hold on just a second here again you had some really good indications yesterday that we talked about and that was the fact that we had for the first time broke a 382 retracement, a perfect ABCD there. We rally up 20 cents, and what do we do? We start breaking it. There was another 382 retracement. So what we've done now, we've got a pretty good correction, no, just a two or three day correction. And frankly, if if I had to you know, uh, roll the dice, which I'm not gonna roll the dice, I would be inclined to be a buyer over the weekend. But the trouble is, because of a weather market that we've got, your stop is probably not going to be filled where you think it'll be filled. So for me, that is not the case. I will look at it Sunday night, and if it's tradable Sunday night, yes, I will take a position in it, but not over Saturday and Sunday. I have no control over that. It's it's in the uh, hands of the trading gods, and as much as I love them, they don't always love me. So I am going to wait till Sunday night to see if what's going to happen. It might give a good selling opportunity. It might give a good buying opportunity. But the opportunity that I worry about is opportunity and risk. In Chinese literature, folks, you know, if you write the word opportunity and if you write the word risk, it's exactly the same. The meaning comes, it's how it's used in the sentence. So opportunity and risk in the Chinese language are the same thing. And that's one of the reasons why my license plates in my car say, no risk. And I have to tell you the story about the no risk. I think I have. Be ah, you've heard it before. Anyway, this is why uh, I, I, I use no risk uh, because I am trying to be risk averse. But boy, sometimes, folks, I really screw up and I don't. Not for the TFNN people. I won't do that. But sometimes for myself, because I have confidence in what I'm doing and I know I can make it back quickly, I'll maybe take a little bit larger risk than I actually should. And then I kick myself in the rear end and get back into the game plan that's got me this far. And uh, I'll tell you, folks, after trading six years at Drexel, and uh, I did very well during those six years, I, I proved to myself empirically that AB equals CD worked. And John Jameson wrote that book, uh, the Floor Trader's Handbook, that proves that it works. I mean, this was all the mathematics behind it and uh, the hard work that went into it and getting all the statistics together. You know, we did a really great job with that 90-minute video and 90-minute PDF file. But that proves how ABCDs work. It was done with the euro. That's why I was so darned upset when I missed that 78% level up there at 109 and change. That's a $1,500 move, folks, with a $300 a risk, and I, and I missed that. Of course, we had some others. Yeah, and I know you can't get them all, but when you miss an easy layup like that, and one of the favorite things that you trade, you end up kicking your kabuki and that's uh, say hey, what did I do wrong here and that's the way it is folks because you're not going to get them all you're going to get some of them but you're not going to get them all that's the real key to what we're doing here is to find out how much you have to risk to see if you're going to be right that's what it's all about as I mentioned here in an hour in another uh, three or four five minutes or so we're going to have uh, Stan Harley of the Harley stock market letter 
uh, on the horn, and we're going to be uh, talking to him about the uh, cycles that he uses, and also with Lucas and Fibonacci numbers. Uh, someone's asked a question about the Treasury bond. Is that still an open trade? Yes, it is. I still think if we get there and make a little bit higher high up there at 128.23, that's going to be a good place to risk 20 pips with a, probably a two or three point profit to the downside. So you're risking 600 to make 3,000. That's a five to one risk reward ratio. That's the kind we like to see. We don't always get five to one. Sometimes we settle for one to one, sometimes a little less than one, but it'll average out about two and a half to three times if you do everything. And you'll have periods we're going to lose four, five, six times in a row. We haven't had that recent. Oh, somebody's at the door. Oh, that's just telling me to be careful. Yeah. Hey, let's take a break. Coming up, Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Can't miss this one, folks. It's a no-brainer. He'll be right with us. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, and he's going to start out with the S&P 500 Cash Index. How are you doing, my friend? Hello, Larry. I'm just doing awesome. Thank you. Good. Delighted to be here. Well, we're more delighted to have you, so please continue. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's start off and let's look at the stock market. Um, this is a chart that goes back 
hundreds of years. Um, I'm one of perhaps a couple of people that has the data. Um, but I just want to spend a moment on it to kind of tell folks where we've been and where I think we are we are likely going. Um, the uh, the S and P 500. This is a synthesized chart of the S and P 500, uh, going back to the year 1602, which is when all stock markets began. That's when the Dutch East India Company was founded. The first share of stock was issued in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and began to trade among investors. And that is the genesis point for all of the world stock markets. It's the genesis point for all time cycles, both on the top side and on the bottom side. Now, this is kind of a busy chart here, and I won't go into, because of time, I won't go into all the numbers, you, you but essentially what this I have found I is the Lucas series of numbers uh, dominates in defining all of the market peaks and all of the market troughs. You've heard me say this before, that cycles from high to high or from low to low tend to be governed primarily by the Lucas series, and from high to low and low to high tend to be governed primarily by the Fibonacci series in my research. Um, and you can see clearly on the yearly charts, the Lucas numbers, 18, 29, 47, and their multiples times two and times four have defined every single high and low going back uh, 400 years. Wow. <laughs> um, and then of course the interesting point is uh, when you add them all up, uh, you come to the present time frame. And for, in fact, right now, we are literally 94 years from the 1929 top. So we are in zone, but there can be a plus or minus here a little bit, as you can see, plus or minus of about two years. So we are in zone for what I think is going to be a major secular market peak. Uh, now, in this next chart, what I've done is I've taken all the data and I've done what's called a price velocity assessment. Some people would say rate Whoa. of change or market momentum. I don't like the term momentum. I'm an aerospace engineer. Um, there is no momentum because there's no mass. <laughs> I prefer to use price velocity. That's a, an engineering term. And what I do uh, is I look over multiple time periods. The reason is, be is because when you are choosing an indicator, a price-based indicator, it will take a different waveform depending on the cycle, cycle then underway and cycles contract and expand. So how do you get, a, it's a chicken and egg problem. How do you get around all that? Well, if you knew the exact cycle at the moment, you could affix the indicator to that time period. But in, a, a better way, I think, is to use multiple time periods in the calculation of your indicators. And that way you kind of get around that, that problem. That's what I've done here. So long story short, I've done this for seven years, 14 years and 27 years and applied some smoothing. And here's what interesting, what is what is interesting, even though the market, among a lot of people, a lot of market technicians, they think we topped in 2022, my price velocity on the yearly data has not turned down. Uh, that tells me that uh, perhaps we haven't seen the second market peak just yet. It's still wow. yet to come. Wow, cool. Um, Here's a cycle that uh, I haven't talked about with you on the air before, but I thought I would bring it up. Um, as you know, when we spoke a couple of weeks ago, I was I was looking at a a, a high in the next uh, within the next zero to four trading sessions. I think we spoke on the 14th. Um, uh, here is a another cycle that I have not previously addressed, but this is the Russell 2000. And what I've done here with my cycle tool is I've drawn vertical lines at all of the highs going back the last couple of years. And uh, and one of them expanded by a 1.618 Fibonacci ratio. But uh, this cycle picks up every single high. And you can see there's some plus or minus. Um, but uh, when I input the data into a spreadsheet, do what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique to find the best mathematical fit to the data series, it computes a 101 trading day cycle. And you can see it within three or four trading days, it has picked every single high in, in the Russell. Um, and the next recurrence in the pattern, assuming there's no expansion or contraction, is due right around the November 10th time period, plus or minus about, uh, well, I think the standard deviation on this was about three or four trading days. Wow. 
That's pretty. And it picked up the most recent high on June the 16th as well. Yeah. I remember you were on that Friday and uh, the 14th, and the market topped on the 17th. So it was pretty good. Yeah, I'm, uh, 16th, I believe. But yes, 16th, yes, yeah, right 16th, in there. That was Indeed. the day. Yes, that's correct. Very next yes. day. Um, well, next time, try to get more accurate, okay? Because you miss it by I'm day. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the chart that. Uh, Boy, the cycle gods, uh, they're, 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 they're still standing by me here. But this yes, is from are. 20 years ago. And uh, surprising as it seems, the pattern from 20 years ago and the present time frame just keeps lining up within about two to four trading days, the highs and the lows. And I, this is a continuation of my last chart that I showed last couple of weeks ago, a month ago, two yep. months ago. I just keep updating with the current. And... Uh, in 2003, the market peaked out on June 17th. In 2023, the market peaked on June 16th, <laughs> within one day. Um, we sold off sharply. We bottomed uh, back then on the 1st of July, I believe. And uh, that would suggest look for low in the first uh, first week in, uh, in July. We had about a 5% pullback then. If we were to experience a similar 5% pullback off the June 16th high, that would put the S&P right around 42.15 area. And I think that's a pretty reasonable target, Larry. Yeah, and it certainly is, because it's certainly acting like it. I mean, there's no fear in there. You don't see any big swoons down or anything like that. It's very orderly all the way around, yep. and the premiums are not going crazy. So, you know, it's just basically a normal market so far. Nothing's really changed. Uh, well, given Stay my what? view that yeah. the bull ain't dead yet, um, I'm I'm looking for a very modest consolidation here, probably on the order of five percent, just like 20 years ago, and then uh, we'll, we will regain some traction, regain our footing there, uh, to uh, continue chugging higher. Um, we got a little bit more time, so I'll, I'll take a look yes, at this we chart. Yes, we've got plenty of time. Just go right okay. ahead. Okay, uh, this goes back a couple of years, and what I've done here is uh, on uh, on some of the highs and lows. I've marked with Fibonacci and Lucas counts and their multiples and look for a clustering. Uh, and if we take a look at the, uh, the high that occurred in January 2022, and we add 377 trading days to that, uh, it, pro it projects into the first week in July. If we take the bottom in October, we add 89 times two, 178, and then continue with the pattern. Generally speaking, Fibonacci numbers, from high to low, from low to high, predict reversals and Lucas numbers from high to high and low to low. And I hear we got a, we got the music Thanks. playing, so I'll pick it up after the commercial. We sure will. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks. Stay with us, please. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. 
Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, could you go over that Dow Jones uh, trading day chart again, please? A absolutely, Larry. Um, this is uh, the Dow going back a couple of years. And what I've highlighted here are some of the highs and lows, the more prominent ones. And I've noted the Fibonacci and Lucas counts from those and projected them forward in time. For example, if I add 377 trading days to the uh, January high of 2022, um, that uh, lines up with the first week in July. If I add 178 trading days to the uh, low in October, 220 days to the August 16th high of last year and so on, you can see I'm using Fibonacci numbers, generally speaking, from highs, and we've got 76 uh, Lucas trading days from the low that occurred in March. Um, all of these uh, produce a clustering right around July the 5th. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm expecting the market to undergo a fairly orderly pullback on the order of about 5%. And I think somewhere in the vicinity of July the 5th, uh, we should hit a low and uh, regain our footing there and, uh, and, and start to, to, to push higher once again. Well, I'd certainly like to pencil you in for the first day of trading after the holiday. So please put that on your list. <laughs> you, you've been pretty good at this. I mean, to have you coming on the 16th of June, and here we are now. We're going to be looking here at another 10 days or so. We're going to be looking at the well, not even 10 days, seven days into the uh, what we're well, no, it is 10 days into the yes. well, a bit more than 10, 13 yes. days. And so yeah, that'll be an interesting time. one to look Indeed. at. Yeah, that'll be um, really good. So and. It, uh, it's it's just math, and you know, I'm a technician, so I look at I look at a combination of things. I use cycles, I use uh, time counts, Fibonacci and Lucas numbers from past highs and lows, and try to put it all together in some type of sense. And then, interestingly enough, and coincidentally enough, I might add, we have the pattern from 20 years ago, which is working now. But at some point in time, I know it will cease to work. Um, that's just how these things are, these juxtapositionings. And they usually fail right about when uh, you and I put maximum dollars on the line expecting they're going to work once again. Or Stan right. goes on TFNN and said, looky, folks. <laughs> hey, you've been pretty good so far, Chief. You know, so don't just keep, you know, you're going to be wrong uh, a couple times in a row here and there. But, you know, overall, several years now, you've been really given some major signals here. So you should be proud of yourself. Well, well, thank you. Um, it's it's uh, you're only as good as your last call. You oh, that's like the restaurant business. There's no question <laughs> about that. <laughs> oh, I've had plenty of misses uh, in my past, haven't we all? Um, that's that's not that's not the importance. Um, we all get a little smarter. We get a little wiser. You know, we get a little more gray hair and we learn things that we didn't know in the past. And and hopefully we don't repeat the same mistakes 
Yep. Uh, this business we're in, it doesn't come with a textbook, uh, although many, many people far smarter than me have written books on the subject. I think there is a real lack of information out there about cycles and particularly the Lucas Fibonacci relationships that I picked up on, picked up upon. Uh, maybe that's my calling to write a book someday. I need to do that. Of course, I publish a newsletter, but I haven't written a book. It's on my list well, of things. You've you written write several book, books. And if, I know. if you're looking for a publisher, you let me know because I have people that are looking for people like you. So give me a call if you ever have that uh, a itch a that absolutely. you want to take care of. Absolutely. And I have and we'll, to commend you. Well, I, folks may not know, but uh, you were my guest a number of years ago when I was president of the Market Analyst of Southern California. You came out and spoke to our group several times. Mm -hmm. And but the humility that you conveyed uh, – you walked in and you said, you know, here are the ta here are the tools that I use. Here are the technical tools. Here are the planetary influences. But at the same time, I have to commend you. You 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 were not only knowledgeable, but you were humble as well. And uh, I found that very very refreshing. There's a good way to to learn humility, Stan. It starts with starting with 1.2 million in July of 60 to 73, and having minus 2,700 in October of 1974. That's the definition of how to learn humility. <laughs> <laughs> but I never gave up, and you know I came back, and that was the main yes. thing. And you know, and you yes. and I both help people along the way, and that's what you've got to do. The Absolutely. best part of this whole business, and I hope, it's kept. And I hope people say, pick up on some of these things that I have worked with um, yep. and, and improve upon them, and I'm sure they will. Yeah. Yeah, to meet a lot of nice people along the way, and it's kept us young, pal. That's all I know. I see people that are a lot younger than me that look like they're 95 and, you know, waiting for the pearly gates to open. And I'm staying away from that driveway. I got a long way to go because it's too much fun. So. I don't want to miss yeah, any of it. It's our juice. Sure. Yeah, I like my my teacher, Doctor Doctor Miller. I want to die with one position on and make the attorney take it off. You know that's. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on at early July if you can work it uh, out because this is a very interesting day, July the fifth. A lot of things happening, and it's a. Uh, I think it's two days after the full moon too, so that'll be fun to watch mm. because those lunar cycles sometimes will move these things up and down, but not always. So. Anyway, thank you again for being with us, and we'll have you on again soon. Okay, Stan? Thank you. Look forward to it, Larry. And when you're ready to do that book, give me a call. I know people that are interested in doing that kind of stuff, okay? All right. Sure will. Okay. Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter, really stand-up guy. You can't miss. Uh, I'll put up his uh, contact information if you'd like to uh, reach Stan. He's done a lot of great research. Hopefully, he will come back with a, a book one of these days. But writing a book, folks. It's not that profitable because there's so many people that uh, you know don't use copyrights the way they should. And the other thing is that it is also a way for people to uh, pirate your work, especially in foreign countries. But it's still fun to write it. You put your uh, thoughts down for people to look at it in perpetuity, and that's really what you got to try to do. Give the best analysis of what you think you have, and even though it might not be the best that it is. It's the best that you think it is, and that's what's important, the fact that you put your heart and soul in it. It doesn't always mean that you're going to win or lose. There's no question about that. What it does mean is that you have a belief in something, and if you have a belief that you can use and also put a stop placement in at the same time, then you've got something that will really, you know, you have something for your uh, – that you can trade with. And that's what it is because you you got to follow what that risk is, folks. Because the risk is the most tantamount thing that we have uh, in our in our armamentarium of fighting the market. And if you follow that risk of how much you have to risk on any one trade, you're going to be far, far better off than if you go in there without knowing what you risk. Because uh, he, know, he who knows not what he risks, risks all. That's one of the banners on that oil painting behind me here in my office. These are the things, those rules that I go by and... Uh, they're pretty good. The first one is never add to a losing position. Absolutely the silliest, stupidest thing you can possibly do because you're not only wrong in your position, you're doubling your leverage and the leverage is against you. All bad things. And believe me, folks, it hardly ever works out right. It really does. You've got two things against you. Wrong analysis and you've increased your risk exposure. Adding to losers, losers is a losing proposition under any circumstances. Some people can do it, 
within their trading plan. My hat is off to them, but they're very, very rare, and they know how to handle it. But other people don't. That's what gets them in trouble. Because you keep average of losers, you're evidently going to be a loser. Let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, changing gears a little bit here. I put up the chart, daily chart of the natural gas contract. Uh, folks, over the past several months, you could have written a textbook about this. In fact, I did write a textbook called Trade What You See and the Floor Trader's Handbook. Look at the A, B, C, D patterns that are here, folks. I mean, they're just absolute. Look at the beautiful bottom here at the 135 pattern. Uh, we took a nice piece of that out and uh, we're looking for the target to come up here up at this uh, 2.79 level. Now, at 2.79, you want to be short and not long. So that's going to be your price objective up into this area right here. It will be a perfect A, B, C, D, and it'll also be a three drive to a top pattern. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. Totally opposite is the one, three, five. There's one, three, and five. One, three, five, you're always trading with the trend. In other words, you have one bottom, three bottom, five bottom. They're all higher bottoms. When they're going down, they're lower tops. So that's why you use that pattern, because it gives you an indication with the 
compilation of ABCD patterns and looking at some of these FIB numbers, look how the FIB number comes in exactly at the ABCD there, 279. That's exactly what happened to Tesla when it hit uh, 276.99. And so uh, that's the same type of pattern. Now, do they all work? Of course not. That's why you have stop placement. And because if you don't put that stop placement in, who knows what could happen here? They could say that yeah, we're out of natural gas in some country or something like that. Anything could happen. And it usually does. So be really, really careful if you don't use stops, folks, because that guy with that hood and that big sickle is coming right down the path looking for you. So you got to be really, really careful. So we're going to have some fun here with these grain markets, folks. A little rain comes in or a little rain doesn't come in. We're going to see some fireworks and hopefully we'll make some money off of those trades and we'll be watching them right now. Uh, we're looking at that uh, we're still short the S&P, and that's what our position is coming into the weekend. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.